Land ho! Shelby, you ready, girl? What is going on, everyone? It's Kelly here, and as you can see, we're on an airboat. We got Zach right here, and we got Captain Mike with Epic Airboat Tours. What's up? Here in South Florida in the Everglades. Now, today we are going snake hunting, and we're gonna target the big pythons that are super invasive here in South Florida. We got Shelby, the snake dog right here and she is ready to go. She's been excited as soon as she saw the airboat being pulled out of the driveway this morning, probably. <laughs> Woo! But we got a couple fishing rods. What else we got? We got a bow under the, under the seat right here. We're just gonna mess around in the Everglades and have me a good old redneck day. I even texted Mike last night. I'm like, I've been spearfishing like for the past like three, four months, as you guys know on the channel, and I'm ready for a hood redneck day. We're tying up the boat, making it secure. And we're gonna walk on the land, these little islands that Mike likes to call them. And we're gonna have Shelby out sniffing for snakes. She smells them, right? She does. Yep, she's able to track them. If a snake moved within, I'd say about 24 hours, she'd be able to find the track and locate the snake for us. 24, that's pretty sick. Now, I've been python hunting a, just a few times before and um, I was unsuccessful, but I did see some like python trails through the muck and the grass and it's really cool, so I really hope we do find a snake today. Um, the weather is absolutely perfect for it. It's been a little chilly in Florida at night especially, and it's been warming up during the day. So hopefully them snakes are coming out of the water and they want to heat up and get all warm on land. So what's our time frame probably for snakes this morning? I'd say now till about noon. We got a couple hours to find them while it's, while it's real hot before it gets too, too hot. Um, they'll probably go out and hunker down once the sun gets to be too much probably about 90 degrees so we got a couple hours to find them sweet so it's 9 18 right now so hopefully these snakes are out and about and we can find them you ready she's sniffing she's ready she's, she's sniffing all right really it's some type of some type of eggshell i don't know what it, no snake eggs are really big this Jeez. is turtle shell that's gonna be a uh, uh, soft shell turtle egg soft shell turtle egg Hi right, guys, this is Shelby. Shelby's a yellow lab. She's three years old. She was trained by the one and only Python Cowboy and his wonderful wife, Allie. Uh, she's trained to find and track these pythons. Uh, she's pretty much without her. We really don't have a, have a chance of catching out here. It's really tough. I spend days and nights and, and a lot of hours out here, but with her, it makes it really, really easy. She's amazing at command. She listens to everything I say and we're gonna get her going. You guys ready? You ready, Shelby? You ready, girl? Find him, girl! Find him, girl! Yes. Find him, Shelby! All right, here we go. Find him for me, girl. Where is he, Shelby? <laughs> Where is he, Shelby? Find him, girl! She is working. Sunglasses are key when you're walking through thick stuff because you don't want your eyeballs Shelby, scraped. You Hunt him up in there, Shelby! Find him, girl. So we're gonna spend about like 10 minutes in each section of these islands looking for snakes. So if we're gonna be here for about 10 minutes and she doesn't find anything, we're gonna keep on moving and just keep on hitting different areas. That was the end of the island on that back side. Uh-huh. In between each island, there's a big set of cattails uh, turned into water. So we, we know we've hunted that side of the island. I'd say we got about 100 to 200 yards of island to hunt this way. This way? What's in there, Joe? Oh, Shelby, back up. Come here. Find him in there, girl. She's interested. Yeah, all right, we gotta do some exploration. Shelby, come here, girl. So Shelby's also gonna find turtles, rats, uh, all kinds of other stuff. Shelby, Shelby, get back up here. <laughs> Shelby, get up here, girl. Come sit down. Sit. Probably a turtle, maybe? Sit. We're gonna find out, so just be careful, because it could be a moccasin, but she definitely was interested in something in here. And she doesn't do that unless there's really something in there. Now, will she just point with her nose or will she like bark or anything at snakes? She'll, she'll point, she gets excited, she wags her tail. Mm -hmm. If she actually gets on a snake and it starts to move, she'll she'll start barking at it. She'll she'll literally bay it up like a hog. Mm -hmm. These ferns are so thick. 
It looks like there could have been something there in the past or yesterday. So there was or something. definitely something bedded down in here. You yeah. can see where it's all flattened out on the inside. Probably not a huge snake, but she might have picked up a track of something that was there. Let's go around the back and make sure there's nothing in there. That's it. Shelby, do not go swimming. <laughs> It's crazy. These big snakes will be curled up and coiled up so tiny in these fern bushes where you can walk past them and just never even see Shelby, come back over here. an inch of Hunt them. Hunt him up in here, Shelby. She really, she really likes this, this area. She's like, where is it? She's alerting us there's something here. And it could be, it could be a little rat snake, um, yellow yellow rat snake, could be a moccasin, but she is alerting us that, that there's definitely something in here. Obviously no python, we would have seen it at this point, so we'll, we'll keep hunting. Mm -hmm. Find him in there. Find him, girl. Find him, Shelby. <laughs> She's excited about that. <laughs> What's in there, girl? What's in there, girl? Hey, this is looking good. This is looking snaky. This looks real snaky. It does look real snaky. Oh, it's crawling back. Oh, it's crawling back. Yeah, Shelby, come here. Come here and sit. Shelby, come here. Come here, sit down. Sit down. All right. Come here. Come here. Sit down. Sit down. All right. She did a good job clearing it out. Dude. Now I want you guys to come see something. This is fresh. First of all, this is matted down right I here. I smell poop. I smell poop right here too. <laughs> There's something in here. She didn't poop. Oh, it could have been snake poop. It's not Shelby. Something was laid up right there. Look at this. All right here. This is all matted down. Mm -hmm. She crushed some of it, but. Dang, Shelby, you gotta go up in the thick stuff, huh? This is a really good island. We're gonna spend a lot more time on this one than I thought. All right, Shelby, back here. Oh, it's a mouse. It's a rat. Oh, that's what you're yep. chasing? I just, it was a little field Get mouse. Get your out of here. <laughs> Shelby, come on. It, there was a little field mouse, and it Let's just go, it just hopped over. That's what she that's, was looking for. You wanna know the best sign we can see on these islands? Yeah. A rat or a mouse. That's how we know the snakes are out here. That's true. That's their food. Aside from everything else in the other Yeah. That's so. a beautiful mammal that we have out here. <laughs> Shelby, get back over here. Get off that rat. <laughs> Come on. So, the, Come on. oh, look at all this bird poop. So the one thing with animals, especially when it comes to hunting, is if there's a food source, you're going to find the animal you're looking for. Same with humans, right? You're going to find humans when there's food. Find him, Shelby. They're gonna find him at restaurants. Yeah, I mean that's why people go to birthday parties and weddings just to eat some food, right? <laughs> right? Come people, here, people girl. ask, is there gonna be Come food on, there? Girl. Come on, girl. Find him in here, girl. Dude, Finley would have a ball out here running through the sticks. He wouldn't know what he was doing though. He'd just be clueless. He'd be chasing her around. Yeah. <laughs> running in circles. Come here, Shelby. Find him in there. Hey! Find him in here, Shelby. So there's a lot of water surrounding this island right now. Look again, right here. And there is big alligators down here in the Everglades. Find him, Shelby. We keep finding nice areas where it looks like stuff was bedded down. But if the snakes aren't on the land here, they might be out in the grass. So that will be a whole other concept snake hunting. Find him in there, girl. Ooh. That's a pokey plant. Yeah, real pokey plant. <laughs> that one's like a planet. Spider web. That's one thing about the glades. Spiders, airwear. Everything's trying to kill you. I feel oh, like we're we in Texas. Somebody. No, that's Texas. <laughs> you guys ever been hunting in Texas? Mm. Everything has thorns. That's a pretty tree. So we just found somebody's camp out of this way. Oh! 
Look at this. This is looking nice. A nice little hobo camp. That's pretty cool. Nice little fire. It looks like a rope there. A nice rope. Yeah. They're doing something here. Damn, there's another camp back here. Oh my. Yeah, I mean, this looks pretty cut out with a machete. Like, this is some nice trails. Dang. Oh, some Look at they made, they made a rocks. They made a little freaking vine a crown, a wreath, a necklace. Oh my goodness! What? I mean, this is pretty, pretty, pretty fresh. This is interesting. Whoa! Oh, look, they even made decorations. Damn, Mike! I thought this was your secret spot. Dude, this is wild. It's about to be. Wow! This is crazy. Is this a spoonbill feather? Shells hanging everywhere. It or, looks like a rosette spoonbill feather. Yeah. A little rake. Wow. Impressive. Yeah. Decorating this stuff. Look, stuff. an orchid. A little update for you guys. We're having a little snack. It's about 11 o'clock right now. Mike and Shelby are in the brush. We came over to a different terrain because we weren't finding snakes in the other one. So we have a bunch of maiden cane out here. It's a lot thicker of stuff to push through, but hopefully the snakes are hiding in there. when we really rely on Shelby because she's a dog and she can kind of slither through. Like a snake? <laughs> no pun intended. Slither through all of this brush. Look at Mike right now. <laughs> Laying down. Belly crawling. Find him, girl. Oh, there's some ferns that look really good over there. I want to get new one. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Come on, Shelby. Eh. Come here, Shelby. Oh, oh there's one of those caterpillars on me. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Ooh. There was a really fuzzy caterpillar on the boat earlier, and that it's thing. on my shoulder right now. Ooh, if that thing bites you, it might hurt. Feeling like thick brush. It's smoking here, too. Whew. Come here, so these big, these big pythons will eat anything from small rodents to full-size alligators, deer, hogs, anything. Python hunters. <laughs> oh, you got spiders crawling up your back. Oh my God, get, get, here, get, get it off. Get it off, get right, it off. It's gone. It's off. <gasps> you had like three <gasps> spiders, <gasps> Are little you serious? ones crawling up your back. Okay, is there any more? <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mike, I thought you were supposed to get the spiders out of the way for me. the way I thought I was. <laughs> Oh man, you guys know I do not like my spiders. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Ooh. It's starting to get hot out here. Climb in there, girl. Find him, Shelby. Find him up in there. Find him, girl. <laughs> Getting smacked in the face by branches oh, nonstop. Yeah, you gotta kinda, <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I usually keep the bill of my hat and my glasses like tucked. Find him in there. Shelby, get back. She's gonna come and start fighting. She's in that place. I don't see the head at all. It's all right, I'm gonna pull her out for it. Okay. Hold on. Back up. Okay. Back up. Oh, she's biting. Back up, oh, back up. Get wait. Shelby back. I got it. Okay, she's she's a lot more feistier than I thought. She's ready to go. Come on, old girl. Woo! Woo! She come just straight! Come on. Come on, old girl. 
Oh, she's ready to fight. Yeah, she's gonna bite me. We just woke her up. She was laying, oh. sleeping. And these oh. ferns right oh. here. Oh. 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 So, so what I'm gonna do here, okay? Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have you get closer. Oh. Somebody get closer to the camera. Back up, Shelby. Um, wait, oh. Oh. you don't wanna grab her when she's no, oh. 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 oh, Kelly, actually, you might be ready. Oh. Oh. Ready, girl? Not yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her strike at me when she retracts. Oh, 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 grab her. Yes, Kelly! Oh, good grab, good grab! Okay. Oh, oh, oh. That looks a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. She's got it. She got it. Oh, oh, oh. That was so scary. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Look, you can see she's wrapping she's me quickly. Yeah. Oh, oh my Shelby. god! Good girl, Good girl come Shelby. Come here, let her go. Come here. Good girl, Shelby. She's wrapping me. Good girl. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you guys, this is my third time python hunting out here in the Everglades, and it is really hard to find these guys. I mean, they tuck up in these ferns and they just they hide so well. I'm shaking with my adrenaline. Look at my hand. Oh, you did great, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Good, girl. good job, Shelby. Good girl. Girl. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Shelby's like, yeah, Come I here, did girl. that. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> that is motto around here is big snakes, big steaks. She's getting fed well tonight. Oh. Good girl. She just saw the tail oh and started barking. She went yeah, down the tail quick and let's let's pick this whole thing up real quick. You did the rest. No, no, no. no, no, no Back no. up, girl. Shelby oh. wants to like uh oh, catch she's, it. She's every bit of 11, 12 feet. 11, 12? Let's see. Well, I'm almost 5'7". Holy smokes. My legs are shaking. Big snake. That is crazy. Dude. You know, it kind of sucks that we do have to kill these things when we do catch them. Because they are so highly invasive. And they just kill all of our natal, natal, native animals here in the Everglades. But Wow, look how pretty that snake done. is. You could get their skin. Look at uh, Shelby's collar. Check it out. Shelby's collar is actually a snake <laughs> skin right there. Show him, Shelby. There you <laughs> Show go. Him, Shelby. Show him, Shelby. Show him your pretty collar. I mean, yeah. you guys know you can make boots, wallets, belts, dog collars. No, Shelby. <laughs> Where's his booty? I don't want it to poop on me. I got, I got the booty. Oh, it's back That's there. why I'm holding it. Yep. <laughs> so when these snakes, when they get um, spooked or caught or anything, they just pee and poop everywhere and it really stinks. And so, so after I got all that poop on me, you yeah. can get one last squirt Ew. up. Oh. That's it. So I don't get it again. <laughs> that's a good idea. It's all over me, but I'll tell you what, that's the smell of success. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. I, you know what smells like? Dog's anal glands. It does. It does. It's like a fishy odor. Oh my God. How much does that thing weigh? Let's see if it's a male or a female. It's a big female. How do you tell? Major win for the Everglades. Um, no, no pee pee popping out. <laughs> so it's kind of like with sharks, they got like two claspers coming out. Uh, is it kind of like, well, alligators, male gators, it's internal, isn't it? Yup. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah, my nice snake. Dude, Good job, so Kelly. Good grab. This is so sick. No, Shelby, no, don't bite Shelby. that snake. We need that skin. <laughs> We're going to humanely dispatch this guy before we keep moving. Yeah, so we can either, what do you, how do you dispatch him? I uh, just put a pistol straight to the head, make sure I hit the brain directly and the am animal doesn't suffer at all. Yeah. Nice. And then we'll go ahead and skin them out. Have you ever ate Perfect. one? I have. And they're actually not great. <laughs> um, the way I did it, I thought they would taste pretty great. So I, I grinded all the meat down. I cut it off the bone. Yeah. Pretty much like a deer. I skinned it from the backbone. No, 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 took all the meat off and I made it into fritters. Okay. Put a bunch of seasoning and it still didn't taste very good. Process. Oh. Alright. Oh, you got him? Yep. Alright. Oh, that was so cool, man. Oh my gosh. Good girl, Shelby. Good girl. Yeah, hold him, Zach. Cool. Hold him. Yeah, that'll be cool. You yeah, can hold I, him back I, I, to the boat. Help you catch me. Yeah, dude, here. So, go, you, the tighter you hold him, the more he's going to constrict you. He's, he's, she's pretty worn out. Um, you can go ahead and hold her. You don't, you don't have to hold the neck that tightly. As long as you got a good, it's not going to fall. Put it around your neck. There we go. Do a jungle man style. Dude, that's a big snake. 
<laughs> yeah, it is. That's so sick. Oh, oh, oh the poop almost got oh, on your yeah, shoe. You keep, got lucky. It's going to keep coming, too. So cool. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> wow, what a I beautiful see. animal. Isn't it? They are so pretty. That is so cool. It does really suck they, that so we have to kill them. So they grow extremely fast, right? Very fast. Mm -hmm. About 10, 10 feet in three years' time. Wow. 10 feet in three years. Dude, when this Dang. thing was lining up to strike, it looked so <laughs> crazy. Oh, it's trying to pin me. That's pretty. Nuts. I had no way to, no way to get around. When I'm you like, feel them constrict around your well, neck. It feels. So I was wild. more like, I didn't know. I'm like, wait, do I grab it when its head's in the air or when it's on the ground? I'm like, I don't even know, but it looks like I can grab it now. And then you, you just did like, grab awesome. it. So I'm like, all right, cool. Picture perfect grab. You did amazing. <laughs> oh no, Shelby, no. don't bite that skin. We're gonna I'm make. I'm pretty sure that's that. poop on my uh, oh, on my wrist. Oh, wait, did I just have poop on my face? Huh? Do I have poop on my face? No. Okay, I no, wiped my face, but it I had them right there. We see oh, oh, oh. Oh, good girl. Good this girl. This is the first time I had my hands on a, on a Burmese python. Really? Yeah. Yeah, same here. Oh, 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 oh. They're incredible, dude. And I mean, especially for a, like, oh, oh, oh. a reptile obsessed kid like me to be able to get hands on something of this size and stature oh, oh. is like a dream come true. And again, it sucks we got to kill them. Yeah. Um, but it's a hell of a job to do for everyone. Oh, oh. Yeah, it is. Dude, that is so cool. All right, let's make our way back to the boat. All right. Hey, Shelby. All right, you got him? I got him. <laughs> you got him, Muscles? Muscles, you got him. <laughs> That's the nickname ow, ow. for Zach now. All right. Getting Dude, better and ready. that is like the perfect bracelet right there. <laughs> it is. The old swamp bracelet. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dispatch this snake. Unfortunately, I cannot show you guys on YouTube because... YouTube doesn't like blood or killing things, so we're not going to show you guys. But, however, we are going to do that right now. We brought some rods. We're going to go try to target some Oscars fishing and make them into sandwiches. So, this guy, we're going to turn, maybe do a nice little sma a snake, a snake mount on him. I mean, it's in, it's so cool. I can't get over just looking at it. I don't want to kill it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I Fortunately, know. we do. Oh, it sucks. All right, well, I'm gonna let Mike do that part because he's done it before. <laughs> That's his job. job. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Captain Mike with Epic Airboat Tours. If you guys wanna go fishing, sunset cruises, bow fishing, snake hunting, anything along those lines, like anything in the Everglades, anything swampy, you guys hit up Captain Mike, but we're gonna get all geared up, take like care of this snake, like and we're gonna go Oscar like fishing. We are done with python hunting for the day and it's a good thing I bring an extra change of clothes just in case a snake poops on you. We got the good old ugly sticks right here. We got some live shiners, we got a little bit of crappie jigs, we got some hot dogs and we're gonna go fish and see what we can't catch. I'd like to catch some Oscars just because they're super cool, super aggressive fish and they're really good eating and I did bring some sandwich equipment on the airboat. Sandwich equipment. Yeah, sandwich equipment. <laughs> Ingredients? <laughs> no, equipment. I meant to say equipment. Sandwich equipment. And uh, Mike right here is rigging up a bow fishing rig just in case. Yeah. Might see a Placo or a Tilapia. Shelby's taking a little break. This is Shelby's nap time because she actually has another python hunt um, tonight that Mike has taken out some clients to go hunt at night. Is that with a truck? That's with the truck. Okay, so basically you can python hunt on the airboat or on the truck. And the truck, what do you do? You just kind of just ride in the Everglades and... So yeah, we pretty much just cruise. I got a light set and a python rack elevated above the truck and uh, we cruise and look for them moving at night. You just use like spotlights and yeah, try to spotlights, shine Yeah, spotlights, see if we can find them at night. And their, their skin actually lights up almost fluorescent blue at night. It makes it a little easier to find them. Do they move at night a lot or? So this time of year, not typically. Okay. But if one did move during the day today, Shelby's gonna find it. True. I keep forgetting about the secret weapon, honestly. <laughs> it's because I've been python hunting a couple times before and it's definitely tricky without a dog, not gonna lie. 
So that's super cool, but all right, we're gonna fish. Hopefully we can catch something. What you got? Oh, hey, good running. looking, I'm calling you. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. What's that, a shell cracker? Bluegill, shell cracker. That's an Everglades monster right there, let me tell you. <laughs> We've been searching for these guys for hours. Finally, we get one on the boat, look at that. Don't get much better than that out here. I'll tell you what, he's getting eaten. <laughs> you want them? You want them as a sandwich? Hundred percent. Is it shell cracker, right? Shell cracker. We're eating them. Yeah. So, I years ago would probably mistaken this for a bluegill, but they're actually called shell crackers or sunfish. They're actually really, really good eating too. It looks like a um, a turtle or something, or a big bass bit his tail. All right. Well, hold on. Oh. Here, throw him in this cooler right here. He's going for his last swim, and that's in the front. What's going on? What's up, good looking? You guys got the best looking tour guide in the Everglades. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good, man. We uh, caught a hell of a snake. That must be uh, yeah, we got Mike's buddy one. over there. Throw him in the ice. Kelly's kicked ass dodging it. Yeah, where at? All right, we need a couple more to make a sandwich. Uh, we're working on it. So, uh, you want to help me out today? almost two years ago, we were here at this spot and there was a bunch of Oscars here, but however, they're just not here right now. The water's a little bit more dirtier, so I think the fish are in deeper water. So, we're going to make our best. We got hot dogs, we got fish. Let's see what we can't cook up later. Don't worry, guys. I'll catch all the fish. Don't worry. Stop. Yes. What is it? Oh my gosh, that's a huge. Wait, get that thing in the boat. I'm trying, it's so heavy. What is that? A si I can't tell. Oscar. Oh, it's an Oscar. It's a huge it's Oscar. It's an Oscar, boys. A massive. You. Dude, I didn't even know what that was for him. It was like a tilapia, that thing so big. On the little shiner. That's what we're talking about. That's a big Oscar. That's lunch right there. That's what that is. Yeah, that is lunch. Good job. Good job. Lose him right there. <laughs> nice hook set too. Ooh, That's maybe, what I do. Maybe know. the Oscars are coming back to play. So these were the fish. Oh, there's an ant, big old ant crawling on my arm right now. These were the fish that were here, like in by the hundreds last time I was here. Slim Pickens now. He yeah. must be a homebody. This guy ate all the other ones. That's why he's so big. <laughs> you know, he kind of looks like he's next to the jaguar cichlid. He's got little dots right here. You filming here. right now? Are you yeah. filming? Yeah. <laughs> Are you? You got a lily pad. Get out of here. The one and thing the with these all. No, it's a good one. You got a fish? Yeah. Really? Oh, you really? got a you got a, a crappie. What? Yeah. The hell? No, Shelby. Yeah. We can Shelby freaking out. Oh no. Shelby's freaking out. She wants them. Dude. Dude, you caught a crappie? <laughs> Yo! I told you, dude. I'm the glades master. That is hilarious. That's a pretty fish right there. What the heck? I, I'm going for the, I didn't even know there was speck here. I think I just Me got either. the triple crown. That's the most beautiful one I've ever seen. This is a really pretty one. I just got the triple crown of the Everglades. Dude, that might be the prettiest crappie I ever seen. It's like translucent. It's like green gold. Holy smokes. What else you want? Dude, that's a stud crappie. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. And that's going right on the play table. Yeah, literally. I've never eaten any of these fish before. That is hilarious. Never had Oscar, never had crappy, little shell crackers. I wouldn't dude, really eat that. I can't believe that just, dude, the fact that you just caught a crappie right here is insane. <laughs> that's awesome. Wow. Well, now we definitely <laughs> got lunch. Now we got lunch. The one thing about these Oscars is they're super slimy. Way slimier than the normal fish. So I just got a paper towel. Wipe all that slime off. Zach, are you done fishing right now? Yeah, I'm done fishing. I caught all the fish. <laughs> I got us lunch. We don't need any more than that. We literally did. We're sustainable hunters out here. We only catch what we eat. We got enough for lunch, so that's about it. Now, if another python decides to slither up around here. That's a different, <laughs> that's story. A different story. We might catch two of them. So Oscars are they're invasive. Uh, crappies are native, and shellcrackers are native. I believe so. I think shellcrackers are native as well. Um, but Oscars were actually in the fish trade, like fish tanks. 
and people just started releasing them and they multiplied like crazy. It's the best eating fish in the Everglades. Yeah? The Oscars? From what I hear, we're about to find out. <laughs> have you eaten them? I haven't. Or eaten them? Really? I haven't, but Gerald says they're the best. And I take his word for it. Is there a big rib cage on there? Mm, kind of. Their meat kind of resembles a snake head, I feel like. Yeah. Well, they kind of look like snake heads, especially with the bullseye on the tail. Yeah. And the just like the way their ta those tail fins are. Like if you just stretch them out another foot, it made them not as fat. So we got our pan nice and hot, adding some olive oil here. We went ahead and filleted all three fish. Now this like, or it kind of looks like orange uh, swordfish. That's what it reminds me of, the Oscar. I didn't realize the meat was that orange unless it's just this specific Oscar. Uh, the crappie meat, super, super white and flaky. And then that little shell cracker is right there. That's a little fish nugget right there. Zach went ahead and toasted the buns. We got some cheese that's melting on there right now. We got some Lowry's garlic salt. It's super gorgeous out here. We got some Dano's red seasoning, which does not have salt in it. So that garlic salt will make it for that. This fish is gonna cook super fast. Party. <laughs> We're fitting them all on there. Now, last time me and Mike hung out was probably pushing maybe five months ago, maybe five, five, six months ago. Uh, we went out to Lake Osborne here in South Florida and we bow fished with Chris with Premier Bow Fishing. Absolutely slayed the bow fishing. That was the most fun I've had in a long time fishing at night. We both fished tilapia, we both fished clown knife fish, we got placos, we got tilapia. We saw some mudfish and some snakeheads. Mudfish? Yeah, mudfish and snakehead. What did you shoot? I shot one clown knife fish. One, one hitter quitter. I pulled the bow out one time, got myself a big clown knife and put the bow down. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, there's a snakehead right there. Shoot. Where? Clown Where? knife. Oh, oh, Look at that. There you go, Mike. That's a good one, too. Mike, well, look at. Dang, it's awesome. Listen, I just grabbed the bow. I literally just handed this man this a bow four seconds ago and a clown knife, and he smokes it. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Knife, right? My oh, first yeah. one ever. He sniped it because I was bow fishing, making a video, and I'm like, you know what? Here, Mike, take the bow, shoot a fish, and he just, boom, snipe. He's like, all right, I'm good. <laughs> and it was your first clown knife too. Ever. It was my first clown knife. After that, I wasn't shooting again. Yeah, like what are the odds your first clown knife you bow fish, which is insane. Slim to none. Yeah, that's nuts. You might be like one of the few people to do that. What's the biggest snake you ever caught, Mike? 17 feet. 17? 17 feet and it was sitting on a nest of 71 eggs. 16.7 feet to be exact. 16.7, that's insane. How many snakes have you pulled out of the Everglades so far? We've, we've pulled out quite a few. Myself, Python Cowboy, uh, our good good buddy Sammy, who also works with us. Uh, we all use dogs out here, and that's the reason we're removing as many as we are. Uh, before dogs, it was really, really tough to snake hunt out here, and old Shelby here, Otto, oh, Sammy's Shelby. dog Phoenix has, has really changed the game for us. Look at that fish. That smells good. Probably. Yeah, so see here, like the crappie is so flaky, like it'll just fall apart. Crappie kind of reminds me of mashed potatoes. If you know, you know. Mashed potato fish. Yeah, because it just like falls apart. 
right now it's like the calm before the storm. We got a big old cloud rolling in right now. Oh yeah, it's coming soon too. I know. Hurry up, fishing cook. Those clouds are coming in hot. The boys are going ahead and tidy up the boat right now. I'm trying to wrap up this video and eat. We got some Chick-fil-A sauce right here. We're just gonna do a little squirt like that. Fish is almost done. Put that away. That crappie, man. Oh, that crappie falls apart. So the crappie is done. I'll put that there. We got a little crappie, a little shell cracker on that one. A little crappie on that one. There we go. All right, we have got to hurry. We got a little lemon, a little sprinkle sprinkle right there. Boom. How are ya? Wow, that tastes so good. That Chick-fil-A sauce is fire. I honestly never eaten Chick-fil-A sauce before. Let's see. That's pretty good. I like it. Yeah. Cat might build up on some Reese's peanut butter cups earlier today. <laughs> I'm just playing, but it has been an insane, great day. Zach never gets to go to the Everglades. This is probably his first real experience mm -hmm. on the Everglades, out on the water on an airboat. So we so broke much fun. we broke you in the right way. Yeah. yeah. Huge shout out to Captain Mike. Thank you so much. It's always an epic time when I'm out with Captain Mike. Watch Shelby, thank you for finding us a snake girl. You Don't worry, good, Shelby got a hot dog late, earlier when we were fishing. <laughs> <laughs> that was her treat because she's a good girl. Yeah. These sandwiches are pretty good. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm shocked. Really? Yeah, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> I thought it was going to be horrible. I've never, I never eat freshwater fish ever. It's, I kind of just have a bad stigma about it, I guess. <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm not a huge freshwater fish person, but like crappie is so good and then oscar and shellcracker honestly it's all pretty good so but right now we're gonna get on up out of here because we got some weather coming thanks for watching you guys check out epic airboat tours here in the everglades i'll put all of his information in the link <laughs> in the description below this video i just lost a piece of fish it's all right shelby will get it later but right now this video is ending thanks for watching be sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one see ya